we go. Something changed inside of me. My world was filled with color and light. It was like I had opened my eyes for the first time. Exactly how I felt when I went first met you. <laughs> First, before I get into the video, I won't be primarily covering the current drama surrounding Jan Deridev, who from here on I will refer to as Alex since I don't properly view him as a developer. This video primarily exists to critique Alex's cringy and edgy writing when it comes to his game. But just to get it all out, let's compile all of the moments where Alex has come off as a complete cringe lord. This won't be all of the moments, but it's gonna be a big bulk of them. So let's get into it. Celebrating a friend pirating work referee by consuming the chalice. Milking his Patreon for six plus years, barely making any progress on his game. This. His Discord has, rounded to the nearest 10,000, 50,000 banned users. This number is larger than, the, than these territories and countries. The Faroe Islands, Sint Martin, Monaco, Turks and Caicos Islands, Liechtenstein, San Marino, Gibraltar, British Virgin Islands, Caribbean Netherlands, Palau, Cook Islands, Anguil, Ang, Anguil, okay I don't know how to pronounce that, but Anguilitia, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Tuvalu, Wallace and Fortuna, Nauru, St. Helena, St. Pierre and Miquelon, Monsterrat, F Falkland Islands, Nau, Tokelau, and Vatican City. Holy shit, 21 countries and territories. <laughs> Locking the subreddit due to mass downvotes. Locking the Discord, making the speedrun impossible. I'm sorry everyone who wanted to get under 0.01 milliseconds. All praise to glorious Japan, letting me touch underage kids with her. Telling multiple underage fans to kill themselves, saying that it was justified because they were a troll. Telling a 50 year old fan that he's an awful piece of shit that deserves to die. Weeaboo Trash, do you want to get banned? Because as of this moment, I think you're an awful piece of shit who deserves to die. You're basically doxing me, you fucking asshole. Oh, shut up, chameleon. And of course, he's getting his ass kicked, the Skullgirls. Using Unity Store assets and animations, then claiming it as his own. <laughs> okay. Oh, Alex, that's so you. Clearly underaged fans. And yes, Alex, people can lie about their age on YouTube to access adult content. I don't know how this is just some crazy new thing to you. Spending precious development time adding Easter eggs. Claims to spend 8 to 12 hours working on the game, though streams daily for 3 to 4 hours. There's nothing wrong with taking breaks to stream your game, but if if you're doing that every day, that is that is going to pile up. Busy turning the fandom into a dictatorship instead of coding. Come on, son, you're supposed to be coding. Get back to coding. Busy cop busy copy striking critics and forcing them to do an auto warm beer style apology instead of coding. Well done. Well done, Alex Jong. -un. Well done. His debunk page has more content than the game itself, which has been in development for six years, while this page has been up for like two years, ever since he made that one video on the drama in 2018. Else if. Pulling a Chris Chan, editing his own Wikipedia article to change any negatives into positives. Ignoring all requests to get mental help by using the game as, his, as an excuse. And he's done this all the way back in his guy online days, so even back then, there was no excuse why he didn't get help. Literally being an incel. Wanting to murder his own parents. Oh my god. We're really, we're really, we're really digging down here, aren't we? The first arrival, still not being added after four years after the original release date. Originally, Osana was supposed to be added, what, 2017? Uh, being announced, like, late 2016? So yeah, about four years. That is crazy. Mocking the art of an 11 year old, literally recolouring her art and making fun of it in a video. You can't even, you can't even copy an 11 year old's art properly, Alex. Oh my god. Bans you in Discord for literally asking a question. 
turning critics into inhuman gremlins. Whew. That should be all, but surely more will come while I'm editing this, but I'm not going to ba go back and add more after everything was recorded, because if I'm being honest, new stuff just crops up every day from Alex, because he just doesn't know how to do PR, he doesn't know how to get off the internet. This was something that I originally posted on Reddit. I've not changed anything, so if you want to go show that post some love, I'll fire the link in the description. I've also linked all of the sources I used in the description, because I feel like crediting sources is important. They were also provided in the original post, and somebody provided uh, a, a slimmed down version onto the Yan official Yandere uh, simulator subreddit, and Alex himself responded. I will be getting into his response after I'm finished. As someone who writes as a hobby, I know my way around how to make a character off a specific trope work. Nobody talks about why Ayano is a shit representation of a Yandere. Let's start by getting into the term. Yandere is a Japanese term for a person who is initially very loving and gentle to their, uh, to someone, or, or at least very innocent, before their devotion to becomes destruct, uh, destructive in nature, often through violence and or brutality. As a person who is initially very loving and gentle, well, for a character that supposedly cannot feel, it's practically impossible without turning Ayano into a Mary Sue, which is what Alex has pretty much done to her. As far as I know, you can't replicate feelings without something seeming a little suspicious. Trust me, I have tried it. We also haven't seen an actual interaction with Ayano and Senpai from what I have seen. How can we know that she's loving and gentle when she hasn't even talked to the guy? From what I'm, from what I've gathered, just finds him hot because he makes her feel emotions. We'll get to his backstory in a sec, and just wants him so she can feel. That isn't Yanzari. You could argue, well, at least she appears innocent, and you're right. Though for a person who cannot feel, you'd think that innocent is the last thing someone who can't feel would know how to appear as. As I've stated before, she might be able to put on a facade, though if you're pretending, chances are someone is going to see right through you. From what we've gathered from her character so far, she doesn't line up well with being a Yandere since she can't feel. She lines up a lot more with being a Kudere? Let's see. Kudere, a stock love interest who is calm and collected on the outside and never panics. They show little emotion and in extreme cases are completely emotionless, but, but maybe hiding their true emotions. They tend to be leaders who are always in charge of the situation. Of a situation. Camel collected on the outside? That's definitely a trait that Ayano shares. Shows little to no emotion? Yeah, that's like her primary character trait. Maybe hiding their true emotions? Well, Senpai definitely awakes those feelings inside of her. Take my conclusion with a pinch of salt, but in my opinion, Ayano is much more of a Kudere than a Yandere. Extremely violent Kudere's can exist. We'll settle on saying that she's a mix between the two, therefore I wouldn't call the game Yandere Simulator since it since, you know, she's not a Yandere. It definitely needs a new name, in my opinion. If you've seen what Alex has written previously, it's quite clear that he's a pretty shitty writer. Only Alex would think that a rapey plot would be good for a story, and only Alex would think edgy equals good. Spoiler, it isn't when it's done wrong. See, his lunar scythe prota protagonist may be cringe. You could murder someone with that amount of edge that I admitted from that backstory. Ayano is no different. Here's an excerpt that I put down from her wiki page. I do apologize in advance. Ayano monologues about her life, explaining that she's always felt hollow and empty. She reveals that her mother, Ryoba, who also felt this way until she met her father, who awakened feelings inside of her. Ryoba related this to Ayano, impressing on her that the same experience would happen to her as well. Ayano states that she's spent her entire life dreaming about this moment, waiting for love that will cure, fix, and save her. The player is then shown the moment a Ayano encountered her senpai, Taro Yamada, who brought color, emotions, and hope into her life, thus ending her grey and emotionless life. Oh! And Ayano is ecstatic until the appearance of Osana Najimi, the first rival, sends her into a rage. Ayano says that 
Oksana cannot appreciate Senpai in the way that SHE does and resolves to keep Senpai to herself, even though it means hurting or killing Osana. She ends this by saying, he will be mine, he doesn't have a choice. Ah, ow, the edge. As I stated earlier, this entire intro just seems like Ayano is extremely violent Kudri. Hollow and empty? That seems very similar to the Kudri description from above. She doesn't come off as cute, caring, or any of the initial aspects you'd expect from a yonder. Even her voice in the intro sounds edgy. Let's not forget that she was modeled after Alex's dream girl. What the fuck? As much as I hate to continuously suck Love Letter's dick, whoever came up with Bochan knew what made a yandere tick. Cutie design and personality from what we've seen so far? I hope that they'll keep heading in this, in this direction. In conclusion, Alex really needs to get a volunteer that, he can, that, that can actually write a decent yandere to rework her into an actual yandere so the game title can work and she doesn't come off as an extremely edgy girl from an emo team. And that's the post. This post got a lot of attention on R slash Osana, receiving praise but also some criticism, primarily from this one comment by U slash Blue Panda 800. They actually made a great point made uh, when it came down to how I labeled Ayano. She's not even really a Kudere because while she's cold and emotionless, she lacks the, she lacks the dairy part. Kudere's may appear totally emotionless, but what makes them great characters is their capacity to be incredibly sweet, doubtfully so because you wouldn't expect it from their characters. Having no emotion, comprehension of mort or morality, Ayano lacks the ability to be a successful Kudere. She's cold and emotionless until she snaps and goes crazy. She's more of a Kugeti than a Yandari. Since Ayano has no uh, com uh, comprehension of emotion, she fails to fill the dairy part of the trope, though even with that criticism into account, she's more of a Kudere than a Yandari, though Blue Panda could also brought up a better trope that Ana uh, Ayano could fill. Though I couldn't find the definition for the trope, I'm not sure if Blue Panda actually Now, to get another response from the big man himself. I'm actually kind of happy that I, that, you know, my, my post got a response from Alex. Though it was posted by a different person, they pretty much carry the same point. Not much to come through here, but I will post it on the screen so you can read the entire post. Uh, it's not entirely posted because when I saw the post in R slash Osana, it cro they cropped it, so it doesn't look too good. Uh, I wish you could find the, the proper thing, but one, as I said earlier, the subreddit is on lockdown, and two, I am banned, so I can't get on there. <laughs> uh, now, Alex claims that he's made a video three years ago where he claims he make where he where he makes his where he makes this exact opposite obs observation, claiming that Ayano barely qualifies as a yandere, which confuses me why he keeps referring to her as yandere John when she basically when she bas when she barely qualifies to the trope he claims she belongs to when she doesn't. Though he states that if we had to go by traditional tropes, she shouldn't actually count as a Yandere, which is what I'd assume the main character of a Yandere simulator would at least be like. I think that just proves how bad of a Yandere Ayano is when the writer and developer himself says that she isn't a Yandere. <laughs> so, what are my suggestions to Alex now that he's actually admitted that his Yandere character isn't actually a Yandere? Let's begin to give him some advice on what to do next. Change. Change the game's name. If you knew for three years that Ayano wasn't a Yandere, changing the game's name would have been top priority since the character you play as isn't technically a Yandere, but that could definitely uh, assist with the misinformation strategy you've been seeming to have a lot of trouble with. People could literally just say that this game is clickbait, you know, and people will believe that. And now I'm not, not defending Dev, but because, you know, there is a lot of things that he claims as misinformation, which isn't. But I'm just saying this is one of the things that could actually be classed as misinformation. You could have taken the lovesick name years before Dr. Apis came around and did so. Or even better, write a better backstory for Ayano. Get a vol- or hey, hell even better, get a volunteer to write it. Just anything to make this a Yandere simulator, not an edgy murder girl simulator. And that's my critique on how Ayano Iishi 
fails as a Yandere character. Of course, I'll be lumped in with the rest of the trolls and gremlins that everyone who is portrayed, who is critical of Alex is portrayed as, you know, dehumanized. Though for everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this something that's a little different from this drama that's been going on for the past six months. You know, it's been boiling around this Yandere a bit, dead family ever since the Discord thing. Though, if you want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Though, keep it in mind that my channel is a lot more centric around gaming than commentary these days. So, if you wish to check out my current project, which is a Pokemon Black and White 2 randomizer, and I look like I'm doing with my friends, I said that way too quick. <laughs> Though, my senses are with the current sense of sense, I'll make another one of these before I do anything original. So with that, I wish everyone has a good day. You know, Yandere Dev, I bet you're watching this. I, I do I do hope that you take into account what I've said. And goodbye. I will see you all in the next one. Or not. Thank you.